Yes, nothing but good vibes right here on the ASAC. You we told you today it's about boy bands. Yes, <laughs> not boy. Leo Magaldem, you know. <laughs> the other days, today we are sorting out them galdems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please stop. I check a juku na mtara ni ongelea kwa mic na na ni ambia vitu zenye sifai kwa nasi. Anyway, <laughs> yes, this is Fikers Night Boy Band. Three members, Moja Yuko, they'll be telling us why he is not here. And fun fact about this band, they are from three different nationalities. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah. they'll be telling about telling us about that dynamic of working with um, um, working working together from different nationalities and more about themselves and what they have for us today. So let us start here. Introduce yourself to our people back at home. Ayo, hey ayo, hey ayo. Hey my name is Karan there Wangari. There is your camera over there. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ayo. Hey <laughs> my name is Karan Wangari, uh -huh. a member of Fakers oh. Nights. Fakers, Fakers Nights. Nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you pronounce it. Right. <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? I am me, I'm Fox Predito. Mm -hmm. You said my my name is added, but it's not that hard. It's, Come on, it's, it's not Fox real. <laughs> okay, when you when you look at it, um, <laughs> when you look at it, it sounds hard. But yeah, when you pronounce it's really, it, it's it rolls off the tongue. Fox Predito. You say my Fox Predito. <laughs> He's not willing to, to well, try. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm the Rwandan knight. That's mm -hmm. pretty much what we call He's the Kenyan knight. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, I, introduction for Kuro mm -hmm. or Yuta, mm -hmm. since he's not here, mm -hmm. he is a Japanese knight. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So we have a Kenyan knight. Kenyan Kenya night, yeah. Rwanda night, night. Uh -huh. and a Japanese night. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> the nice thing is kind of the whole medieval type of ah, thing. So yeah. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we saving? Ah. The music industry or yes, the... Yes, yes, we're coming in strong. Okay. <laughs> coming in <laughs> so kindly tell us about how the band came to be and... Yeah, how you work together. Okay, so first of all, we are mm -hmm. not a, a band. <laughs> we are not more of a band. Faker's Night is more of a, an Afro-Asian tribe music group. Yeah, which is an Afro-Asian tribe music group. And we are three, as he said. Yeah. The Kenyan Night, the Japanese Night, and uh, the Rwandese Night. And basically, for me, the Kenyan Night and the Rwandese Night, we met through mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we, he was in another group and I used to know the guys and then <laughs> stuff happened Kukakuwa na ngori waka split kiasi and then that's why I came in and I came in with the Japanese night mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and that's how and you we came and uh, you took him away from that group uh, really, okay it, really. it broke anyway so yeah it broke and plus we were also mutual friends so okay, uh -huh. She also stuff happened between us mm -hmm. Actually, so it also affected me in some way oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. story on how it was because we didn't usually i didn't usually talk with him mm -hmm. like for a year when he was coming to my studio mm -hmm. which was kind of weird at the uh -huh. time. so you, like you said we met through mutual friends the mm -hmm. mutual friends was a group i used to be in mm -hmm. and he used to be like the background character when it comes to the recording sessions mm -hmm. all the time he used to be just in the background I didn't usually talk to him because I'm kind of introverted sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so talking to new people was kind of hard. Yeah. But I think it's kind of bad when I don't talk to him for like a year. For a whole year. And then here you are today. <laughs> Imagine. In a band. Imagine. Doing music together. <laughs> in wow, 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 wow. But, so <laughs> on how it went, I, we, uh, I'm, the, I'm the producer of the group also. Mm -hmm. So I run my studio. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I, when you're recording, I do the mixing all that. I used to know he could sing, mm -hmm. but I didn't really go into it too yeah. much. So after you're not while, talking to him anyway. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but after a while, well, mm -hmm. I when we broke, I broke with my group, which was not a really good break, but I'm not gonna go get into that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after I broke from the group, mm -hmm. that's where kind of me and Karano started connecting more. Because mm -hmm. okay. again, it also affected him in a way mm -hmm. where we at least mm -hmm. found something. You to, had to speak. Yeah, yeah. So like even vent there, mm -hmm. and ah. that's when we started talking on yeah. the phone. So when uh -huh. we were talking, uh -huh. at that point, actually, I already met with Yuta. Mm -hmm. It was on. It was online, like everyone now meets, meets every day yeah, these online, days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in an app called Hello Talk. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's where I usually learn Japanese myself. Okay. So when I was teaching myself Japanese, that's where we talked with Ryota. He came, listened to us, our songs. We did a song with him called Mastermind in Tokyo with my old group. And so at that time when I was venting my anger <laughs> after the bad break, that's where we decided, uh, we decided to bring up the idea, hey, why not try and make a group for ourselves mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, do something. try something else. Mm -hmm. And that's when I said, I told him, yo, by the way, we still have Yuta's number. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just text him? Mm -hmm. We see what he thinks. Mm -hmm. And he, he was completely on board. That's yeah. why we started with Rising Up, Point Up. Mm -hmm. After then, that was so our Styles kind of meshing. Yeah, meshing, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, how is it working um, with people from different nationalities? I mean, we have different beliefs, we have different cultures, we have different styles. How do you make, yeah, different time zones for that matter? How do you make sure that you keep producing music and everything is working flawlessly? Um, it's been really amazing, mm -hmm. honestly. And, uh, you know, also it has really made us. Uh, Personally, mm -hmm. it has made us uh, grow our, like our our talent and our our craft. Yeah, exactly, our craft. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it has really been amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we get to explore stuff, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, we've got uh, to do collabs with uh, different uh, artists from other countries, like USA, uh, South Africa, Nigeria, a lot of countries, Korea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has really made us be outgoing a yeah. lot. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it okay. expands our knowledge also mm -hmm. in music because mm -hmm. we usually don't specify to one specific genre. Yes. But if you try to uh, give us a genre, it's mm -hmm. usually Afro-Asian, mm -hmm. tropical. Ah, like okay. That. Interesting. So, but mm -hmm. usually we try to mix different genres. Different like styles, yeah. We even have songs where we have done a bit of country, we have mm -hmm. a bit of trap, mm -hmm. we have done a mm -hmm. bit of rock. That is on the album. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. some of them also are singles. singles like we try, mm -hmm. we usually try to expand our knowledge in different genres because we don't want to stick in that, put ourselves in just one bubble. Mm -hmm. We like mm -hmm. to try different things. So also when other artists come, any other artist comes and says, "Hey, Fakers Nights, I would like mm -hmm. to, to do a you. collaboration," and he maybe does EDM, mm -hmm. so we can just go, "Hey, we are cool. We're we cool. like to explore. Yeah. Let's try it out." Mm -hmm. and Okay. You see what okay. we can do. Okay. Yeah, so so far, thing. what is um, what is what is working most for you in the term, in terms of styles? As much as you explore everything, you can go EDM, you can go country, you can go Afro. What do you think is your stronghold? As, as he said, Afro yes. Asian trap, Afro, okay. uh -huh, which uh -huh. uh, we actually came up with it. Yeah. Because there is no, I, I've not seen any artist mm -hmm. around Africa or Asia doing mm -hmm. Afro Asian trap pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we actually decided to come up with it since we are both from Africa mm -hmm. and Kuro Nail is from yeah. Japan. So mm -hmm. we decided to make it a thing, yeah. and it, it actually it worked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes okay, it with the good. language mm -hmm. and all. Because mm -hmm. yeah. most of us, of our songs you hear like, like me, Randy's. But I also do a bit of French because also my family is also a bit of from mm -hmm. France. So mm -hmm. I try to put a bit of languages also so people from different countries can, can listen yeah, to can it. Listen so to like it France, too. I put a bit of uh, French in it, mm -hmm. like our last single, mm -hmm. Je t'aime beaucoup. Mm -hmm. And also I put a bit of Rwandese, mm -hmm. which I'm terrible at it. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. So any Rwandese yeah. watching, don't come at my neck. Yeah. <laughs> they will not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we like to put a different languages. Like even for Kuro, he mm -hmm. likes to put a bit of Japanese a lot and mix it with yeah. a bit of English. I tried listening to one of the songs and I was Actually, like, it's kind yeah. of funny because uh -huh. when you listen to, when he does English, English, uh -huh. you're gonna f it's gonna be hard to get into it a uh -huh. bit because uh -huh. of his accent. Yeah. It's gonna sound Japanese mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. But when you Real, go, lyrics. let's say to Genius to mm -hmm. look at the lyrics mm -hmm. and listen to him while mm -hmm. he's rapping, mm -hmm. that's when now it actually gets into it. That at that point you just get it. But yeah. his yeah. flaws is mm -hmm. those type of flaws. Even you don't, if you don't get what he says, mm -hmm. you'll you'll still go, you still go with it. Yeah. Okay. So um, what does um, <laughs> Fakers. Fakers Nights. Where did that name come from? In very few words. So it basically came mm -hmm. uh, from the first initials of our names. Mm -hmm. uh, where it goes, uh, Fakers, which was F, mm -hmm. Fox, Redito, mm -hmm. 
E was for, I used to call myself Eggman. <laughs> Maybe I should. I'm also busy, I create memes uh -huh. at Karan Wangari, the Eggman. That's why uh, I used to use that name as my stage name. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You killed it. Uh, I killed mm. it. And it's then, a very weird story. Yeah. Not a good <laughs> don't talk about it. <laughs> and the uh, Y was for Yuta Kurokawa, mm -hmm. F E Y K E, mm -hmm. Fox, mm -hmm. Eggman, mm -hmm. and Yuta Kurokawa. Okay. And since the name came to fake, uh -huh. it couldn't make sense since, since we are three of us. Yeah. We decided to make it into plural, uh -huh. fakers. Fakers, yeah. Exactly. Name, but uh -huh. Fakers Nights. That's not, it's unique. Anyway, so <laughs> tell us a bit about your most recent release, Goddess. So, Goddess is a... Uh, mm -hmm. Goddess, mm -hmm. it's a feel-good... Uh, Vibe, uh -huh. music, uh -huh. kusuka to mamas. Hey, si ame suko umerembo uko. Because actually that's what you want you women, so uh -huh. that's what we give. <laughs> and na pia po pia tunatoboka po kiasi. Hapo ndani na joni mekosa kutajoka bonda. Exactly. <laughs> Aha, yeah, so it's yeah, a feel good song, yeah. yeah, yeah Kusuka Marembo, yeah, Sindio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. yeah. So, how is the song doing out there? How is the reception? Uh, the song is actually doing great, mm -hmm. mostly on in streaming platforms, mm -hmm. all that, because in, like in France, the uh, UK, also in Germany, South Africa. South Africa. So, the song has been received well. Actually, when we released the music video, that's where actually it started like skyrocketing like there on Spotify, mm -hmm. iTunes, mm -hmm. people now started buying it. Yeah. Oh, I've been on YouTube now that's why you need to work on it. To yes. work on YouTube. You yes. gotta go check it out. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty good. The mm -hmm. video is it is in my opinion the mm -hmm. video is good. It's yes. very good. Yeah because <laughs> so, yeah, mm -hmm. we've been really standing out uh, mostly in Europe mm -hmm. than uh, here. Than here, yeah. yeah so but you need we're working to, we're working on it. You need to come come back home. Yeah, come back yeah, home. Yeah. So where can people find you guys on social media so that you can get to listen to Goddess? You can find us on all uh, social media platforms and streaming platforms at Fakers Nights, mm -hmm. F-E-Y-K-E-R-S, Nights, K-N-I-G-H-T-S, Fakers Nights. And you can find me personally at Karan Wangari uh, for my music page and Karan underscore Wangari for my meme for the and content <laughs> creation page. <laughs> Where can people find you? Uh, for me, you can find me at Official Fox Fredito on all social media platforms and Fox Fredito for my old streaming platforms because I also do solo music myself mm -hmm. and YouTube Fox Fredito I have two channels one is for music mm -hmm. and one is for dancing so okay okay if you want okay. to check out my dance videos you can uh -huh. go and <laughs> <check it> <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for coming through we appreciate your time and Thanks hope to see us. you more and you know keep the conversation going yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, up next is Faker's Nights. Yeah. Dance. Ah, no. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> goddess. goddess. <laughs>